How you get so much favor on your side? Accept the measure, Lord and Savior. If you compare yourself, um, you can just be thinking that you're losing. Man, there was a point where I had to go back to my. I had to. I had to downsize my life. I didn't. I didn't have to. I decided to downsize my life. But um, through just surrendering my life to God, and I've, I've shared my testimony uh, in my book called Surrender. It's on Amazon. Um, but there was a time where I had to go back to my parents. Uh, I had to live with my parents um, a few times, like back right before the pandemic hit. I still had a job and then um, after moving to LA I moved back in with them temporarily until it was time for me to move to Charlotte and um, people can be I can look at that situation and be like oh my god I'm 30 I think at the time I was like 33 or 34 single still living at home with my parents but it's like yeah but you're building an empire so like this is temporary <laughs> it's not gonna be forever right and so that's why you can't you can't be ashamed if you if you need to downsize and do what you need to do in order to 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 get the foundation built of your empire or your 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 business or whatever or your book or whatever it is that god's placed on your heart um First and foremost, do what he asks you to do, right? So if it's if it's if he's telling you you need to move back in with your parents, you need to get a roommate, you need to sell your house and downsize, do that, do it, um, and don't care what other people think. Um, you can't compare your journey with other people. I think that's the, the biggest thing that I think hold people back is caring what people think um, because they haven't seen it before. Like we think of entrepreneurship as full-time entrepreneur. You can never go back to having a job. Otherwise, you're not an entrepreneur. Like that's BS. That's BS. Depending on what God has you building, like there are lessons learned in going back to work. There are ideas that come to um that come to you when you go back to work like you you, you have such a different mindset going in because you know you're not going to be there forever you know it's only temporary you go in giving your all 100 percent, and then you never know the people that you work with are could be your future employees like 